Hi, my name is Jami and I'm gonna show you how to create a roof structure in Rhino. So the first things that we need to do is to create a couple curves. So we'll just create one curve. Um, we'll just copy it a couple times. And the fourth curve should be plenty for this tutorial. So what we'll do, we'll turn rebuild the curves. Give them five points maybe. And we'll turn on the control points on. You can press uh this line uh this icon or F10. And if you work with your top and your front view, you'll have more control of the profile of the roof. So let's just move some points. It's kinda of like you have a better idea of what you're doing three dimensional. And as well, you can double check whatever you're doing on your perspective view. So let's, let's create something. And as well, uh, sometimes I I rather using the command, just type in the commands or. You can also, for all the uh, the commands that I'm going to be telling you, you can either it's on the, the menu or on the icons, you can find them as well. There's some shortcuts and you'll find uh, the fastest way for you, uh, for your pipeline, that's how they call it. So... So let's say this is kind of like the uh, the profile of our structure. So we can escape, and then we're gonna loft the curves. So what we will do, we'll select them in order, uh, pressing Shift, and we'll just type the loft command, and click OK. So this is pretty much the overall shape that we just created. Uh, what do we? Now we can do is create a simple grid. I always use it. like to do it on a different layer, and we'll use the command array, which will duplicate this uh, the curves in different directions. So on X we just need a one. That's fine. Maybe twenty on Y and one C. We can use this for creating. Um, on all the directions three dimensionally. Before this tutorial, we'll just use this enter to accept. Then we'll just copy this to the side and we'll rotate the curves. You can do whatever angle you might want in your structure. Before this tutorial, we'll just do the orthogonal 90 degrees. And we might need a couple more curves on this side. Actually one more. So if we go into our perspective view, um, we're gonna project all these curves into the surface. So we can just drag and select all these curves. And also I like doing this on a different layer as well. So when we select the another layer, then we type the command project. Select the surfaces that we want to project it on, and you should get the grid into your surface. So we can turn off the grid, and we also need these curves at the end. So what we can do, we can select the surface and just do the silhouette, and I'll just unselect the curves that I do want and delete everything else. So we only have one curve at the edge. So what we can do now is turn off um, the fall layer. And with this curves, we are just gonna use the um, extrude curve command. And you can change the direction if you like. But in here, we're just gonna go on the y direction 
this one at point 0.25 so if you see it's been extruded downwards 0.25 units so now we can select all these surfaces it's all like surfaces and we're gonna offset them how the offset works is uh, it's gonna offset it we can do a solid and also both sides so we need to enter half the distance of the thickness that we need in this case I want a 0.1 thickness so I'm just gonna put out 0 0.05 and once the poly surfaces are created you can either delete these surfaces or just move them to another layer just in case you might want to have the, those surfaces in the future and you should you should get the structure like a, a waffle structure and something really easy and quick that you can just put together main for your pin up tomorrow or for any concept models that you may want to try and thanks for watching if you want to see more tutorials just subscribe and any comments or questions or particular uh, situations that you may have a question on and you want to help uh, just drop me a line and ask me and I'll see what I can do for you